It's been a while since I made a keyboard video, and one of the keyboards I want to show today would be the C Do ABM 066. This is an Alice style keyboard, so the keycaps are more angled in a way to be more ergonomic friendly, and it's shaped like a V. To me, this keyboard is very weird to type on just because I'm not used to it. This specific C Do ABM 066 keyboard was bought from Amazon, so the switches are stock. And to me, this sounds pretty good. It's a very light-handed keyboard. At the time it was bought, it was around $80. As of right now, it is $99.99, and it is paired with Fairy Linear Switches. $80 keyboard when I bought it, it's, it's very nice. It sounds very nice, it feels good in the hand. The only problem would be the keycaps. I don't really like the style of keycaps, so I might be switching them out for something better. Here's what the SeaDo ABM 066 sounds like pre-built. Going up the budget line, we have the Akko ACR81. They don't really give this kit anymore. The kits that they're selling now that's very similar to this one would be the Akko Acrylic 75, the first version. But this keyboard specifically is not stock. This one was built from the bottom because they do come as a bare bone kit. The switches I have on this keyboard is the Gazoo Boba U4 tactile linear switches. They're white transparent so the RGB can flow through a lot easier. To me, I tried making this keyboard as quiet as I can so you don't really hear it as much. I did add a lot of foam in here as well so the, so the key presses do sound a little bit muffled making it a little bit more quieter compared to the other keyboards that I have. I don't really remember how much this costed. The price for this Akko Acrylic 75 is now $69.99. From the time of filming, it is currently out of stock, uh, like most of their keyboards, so I'm not sure when they're gonna pop up again. So this keyboard was my mainly driver. I did use this keyboard a lot. They're comfortable to type on, including the Razer Phantom keycaps on them. It's kind of hard to see the keys, but once you have them lit up uh, after being plugged in, you can see the keys a lot easier. And to me, it's just squishy and it feels nice and soft. Here's what the Akko ACR81 keyboard sounds like with the Gazoo Boba U4 silent linear switches. So this next keyboard is the Melgeek Moho 68. This was one of the more expensive pre-builds that I've tried out. Uh, I did start with their Kickstarter, so the price of this keyboard as of right now is $200. The keycaps that I picked for this keyboard specifically is the Gateron Pro White. Uh, it does get pretty loud when I click on it, but it felt really nice to carry around like a compact small keyboard. And I did use this for a bit, but to me, the keyboard just looks cool, so I use it as a display piece most of the time. Here's what the Melgeek Moho 68 with the Gateron Pro white switches sound like. This is a pre-built keyboard.
And now a heavier keyboard is the Mellitrix Zoom 98. This is a full size keyboard and the switches I use for this keyboard is the Keyboom Emerald switches. I do just like the green translucent look under the keycaps so it looks really nice to me. I filled this up completely with all the foam that I could get into it so the sound does sound a little bit thoughty. To me this keyboard has a sound that I've been aiming for, something that's like thoughty but at the same time not as loud. And typing on this is like the best experience that I've had with keyboards. And there's also this nice back plate to it, a gold reflection. Yeah, this is my end game keyboard. This keyboard is still being sold on the Mellitrix website for about 215 for different colors. I believe they're sold out of the white ones though. This one in particular was 250. Yeah, this is my uh, end game keyboard. Here's what the Mellitrix Zoom 98 sounds like with these Keyboom Emerald switches. So these are my collections of keyboards. I did let go of a couple other ones that are also budgeted such as the Yun Z75. Again, I would recommend if you guys are looking just for something that sounds good right out of the box to just go for any budgeted keyboards. Some budgeted keyboards that I would recommend from different brands would be like Sidu, Akko, or even Yunzi. These are pre-built and they sound amazing. It's just straight out of the box. So at the end of the day, I do recommend pre-built keyboards if you just want something straight out of the box. So what do you guys think about the keyboards that I have and about my recommendations? If you have any budgeted keyboards that you'd recommend for me to test out, leave it down in the comments below. It would be great if you guys can support me and give this video a like and please subscribe. Thanks. Peace.